So the Shadzia and UI library just got even better. Shad posted on X a few hours ago saying that we've added new components to Shadzia and UI and made improvements to the CLI. So here are some of the new components like drawer, carousel, pagination, sooner and resizable, support for custom tailwind prefix, also shipping early next year a new style with frame or motion animations. And then also in the post, he demonstrates how the new components look like. So here's what the carousel looks like looks like and looks pretty cool as well as your drawer components which I've been using Vol, but it's cool that now it's a part of the UI library and I don't have to go install it separately as well as pagination simple flexible works well with your frameworks link component build resizable panel groups and layouts with resizable components I haven't really seen any component like this out there before I've seen it on like websites and stuff but not sure how to build it so it's cool that's a part of this new components group as well as Sonar, which is a really good toast library also by Emil that I've been using as well. So it looks like everything now is in one UI library rather than installing it separately. So here the CLI now supports custom Tailwind prefix will automatically prefix utility classes when adding components. So this means you can now easily add Shatsy and UI components to existing projects like Docusaurus or Nextra or to your existing design system with no conflict, which is really helpful you could just add it to your existing project and not get messed up and then he says that's it keep an eye out for new style coming up early next year animations with frame or motion and built for dark mode which is cool now we are going to go ahead and check out the new home page so let's take a look at that so here's the new homepage for Shadzia and UI. As you can see, there have been a couple updates and now the example is towards the bottom right here and you could play around with it and test it out. But we are going to go inside our docs and see what new things have been added. So here's our first new component, which is carousel, a carousel with motion and swipe build using Embla. And here's a preview. As you can see, there's one item at a time and the code behind it is here. Looks like we have a carousel the content the item next and previous and then this is how we set our items within the carousel we have an array and the array has a carousel item and yeah that's what it looks the code looks pretty simple so here's a preview and then also here's some more installation stuff as well as examples in different sizes this is how you use multiple items at one time so these are three items showing instead of one and then also it's responsive there's spacing and whatnot you could also do it vertically which is pretty cool very interesting and let's see what else is there we have options you could opt in if we want to align at start or if we want it to loop or not loop and here's the api for it you Use a state and the set API props to get an instance of carousel API. So let's see what that means. It looks like right here we have a text that's showing and updating based off of whatever our carousel is here. So that's pretty cool. And we have to use the use effect for that. So if we do that within next yes, then we're gonna have to use the use client side rendering and here are our events if we want to go more into detail and there's a lot of different things we could do in here but yeah i mean it looks pretty extensive for a carousel ui library component and that's carousel for you so we are going to go to the next component which is drawer right now and then here is our drawer and drawer i think that might be a typo a drawer component for react and we could see how we have our preview if we click on the button it shows us the drawer add it we could increment it if we want to press submit doesn't work but I'm assuming this is just a demo, obviously, so that's why it doesn't work, but we can cancel, it closes it. Pretty cool, and what the code looks like here is we got a drawer, we got a bunch of drawer items within it, and then we are setting our data, and this is just a demo, so we have a trigger, a button that triggers the drawer to open, and then it shows up, and then we could set whatever we want inside of it. This is what it looks like, and then also it is built on top of Vol, like I mentioned earlier, by Emil but this is how you install it and this is how you use it and here let's see responsive dialogue oh yeah i use this on one of my projects so it shows up as a dialogue but then if we inspect it and 
let's shrink the size. What happens is it turns into a drawer, which is really great. And you don't have to really worry about responsiveness. It does it automatically. So that's awesome. And the code for that is in here. So let me close this. So you're going to have both dialogue and drawer. And then let's see, we are going to use a condition, use media query. We're going to make sure we're going to check the size. If it's this size, then we're going to switch between a drawer or a dialogue. So the next thing we could look at is our pagination. So here's pagination, pagination with page navigation, next and previous links. So here's what it looks like right now. It doesn't work because there's no use state, but this is just a demo. Here's the code for it. We got our pagination content ellipse item link next and previous. This is how it's being used. Now in most documentations for pagination, they don't show you like how to set up the logic and whatnot. They just show you what the items are. So let's see if it has any examples. Doesn't look like it, which is typical for paginations and whatnot. So, so that is pagination. It doesn't look like there's anything else to it besides this. So let's go to resizable now, resizable, accessible, resizable panel groups and layouts with keyboard support. Cool. So then this is our resizable. Looks like we could resize it right here like that if we hover over the line and it looks like it's only the inside lines, which makes sense. So that's how we do that. And then the code for that, we have our handle, our panel and our panel group and looks like we have our panel group as our root components and then a panel and then the handle within it. And then wherever we see resizable handle, that's where it allows us to resize our resizable component is what it looks like. I'm assuming so haven't tried it yet. We'll do in a little bit. Now let's see more about resizable built on top of react resizable panels. Cool. Haven't used that library before. And then this is how you install it so the usage. And this is an example of where you could use it for header content. This is cool. I haven't um, really had the need to use resizable quite yet. I know it's been used in other websites, like I mentioned before to show like a before and after might be a case or like sidebar right here and content. If you want to expand the sidebar, that's another example. Oh, well, pretty interesting. Okay, cool. So then next we are going to our last new component, which is Sonar, an opinionated toast component for React. So let's show our toast. If we click on it, it shows on our bottom right hand corner right here. And I believe you could also change where you want it to show up because it's been built and maintained by Meal, And I think on the Sonar website, it allows you to choose the direction. So let's see if we take a closer look at the documentation. So it seems like in the documentation, there isn't that much information, but I know on the Sonar website, there is a lot more information on how to use it. If you want more uh, description on the different things that you could do, like I mentioned before here, you can set the position if you want it to. You just do it like that and you have to set it in the toaster here. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Oh yeah. And then another cool thing that I've used before with this is the rich colors. So now it's green. Let's do it in the top center, uh, like that. But let's see if I do rich colors. Yeah, there we go. Event has been created. It's nice. It's a nice toaster. So that is the last component for the new components that have been added. Let me know what you think about the new components in the comment section below, and I'll probably make another video on how to actually use these in your project. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, hope this was a helpful overview, high level on the new stuff that has been added. So thanks for watching.